could probably do it with an apprentice. Oh, a frost atronach! That's... that hurt. That hurt. How dare you hurt me. How dare you hurt me so. We're finding some really interesting enemies now in these places. No. Small Kwama eggs can kiss my ass. Actually, all Kwama eggs can. Ooh, petty Soul Gym. And uh, a couple of amulets. For... Okay, so security is good. Security leveling up is good because that's intelligence, and I think I'd like to go endurance intelligence this level, so I'm not upset about that accidental skill up at all. Just takes one away from alchemy. But yeah, I'm really, really going to need a light spell. Not necessarily one with a lot of range. Just a good duration. I don't know if light spells in Morrowind have both range and duration. I can't remember if it's like the light spell you can create in Oblivion or not. Alright, Ancestral Tomb cleared. Let's get out of here. So, so glad to have this nice new weapon. That made my day. That's very nice. I don't think it has as much range as the spears, but uh, much better damage and, and like double the durability I think it had. Yeah, condition a thousand and our silver spear was only up to 500. Does way more than twice though. Or more than double, better said. So. That's that's something, but I think this is our nice new weapon. I really like that uh, that enhanced condition on it. Yeah, there's a person. That's I believe that's who I'm looking for. If I remember correctly, this person does have a quest. It's been a while, but I think this person has a quest. Give me just a second. Hello, Aeta Wavebreaker. Excuse me, can you help me? I've been robbed by some notorious thieves. Well, well, well. Yes, just a few hours ago I was robbed. I'm certain it was the group led by the Kajit Drozir. They stole all of my jewelry, but most importantly, they got two family heirlooms of mine. They've been in my family for years. If you can return them to me, I'll gladly pay you their weight in gold. Sure, I'll get your jewels back. You will? Excellent. I believe their hideout is somewhere east of Caldera, although none of the local authorities has been able to find them. No great surprise there. <laughs> what can you tell me about this Drogir? Yes, that scoundrel. He's got my family heirlooms and I want them back. Okay. Right, east, you say. So Don't just press your luck. sort of this way, You're on your honor. up over the mountain. Okay. Might have to go a little bit south then. I don't want to use my levitate potion just to go over a mountain to kill a couple of bandits. Or 
thieves, better said. Not that there's much of a difference. That's an alit. Yes, those are two alit. Alits. Two ten out of two fifty. I can sell that spear. I can I can definitely do that. Yeah. I don't need it anymore because um silver is really nice in in the first few levels of the game because unlike steel and iron, it's the first uh weapon that can hit spiritual stuff or ethereal stuff, paranormal stuff, ghosts, spirits, scamps, the like. Um But pretty much everything after that can as well. So Dwarven can, clearly Daedric can, Glass I think can. Actually, I'm not sure. I think I think it should be able to, yeah. It's got sort of like quote-unquote magical properties. But you, good sir, I would like to sell you that spear. 28 gold, that's it, huh? Yeah, okay. Anything else you want to buy off me? All right, that's that's fine. That's fine. Get down below 200, so you can go to a thief den and kill thieves. Yeah, let's go to the south a bit and then cut east. Hopefully, there's a little path through this mountain. I'll try not to pick up too many more ingredients, so I don't overburden myself with just a whole bunch of weight. What do these stone flower petals do anyway? Restore strength and fortify magicka as far as I know, so nothing too spectacular. It's like a restore health or... Speaking of which, restore fatigue. And maybe I would think about it. Oh, this spear is amazing. If anything, it might be too amazing because I don't want to kill things too quickly. Because I want to level up my... Oh, no. Ataxia. Is that... Ataxia, is that common disease? Am I about to... I'm about to use my last scroll of Cure Common Disease. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That was a lot of common diseases in a row, I feel. What does Chokeweed do? Restore Fatigue, there we go. So I'll, I'll take Chokeweed, because it's one of the restore properties. Not that it matters when you're crafting potions to sell. Um, I think it's really just sort of the quality of the potion itself, not the effect that matters. Yeah. Yeah, this is kind of what I was looking for, just a little path across the mountain. So we can head east-ish. Oh, and another Daedric Ruin. Well, well, well. There's a, is that a flame Atronach down there? No, it's a, it's a Guar. Because, you know, they're almost identical in appearance. Flame Atronox and Guars. <laughs> or Guar, I guess, is also the plural. I, I don't know. But ooh, ooh, ooh. Daedric Ruin. That sheep sound was very strange. I 
I don't think Creeper will be too happy that we're killing off all of his family here. Oh, what the- ooh! One of you ugly things. What are you called? Clan Fear, I think it was. <coughs> yeah, see see the difference that hit, that uh, fatigue makes on hit rate? That's absolutely crazy. How many misses I had there. Right, where's the entrance to this place? Why am I still in combat? Ah, the cliff racer. Yeah. Asar Natamat. Right, well, I'm just going to wait for my... Well, I can... Uh, rest of St. Morris. You bastard. I can life ring a little bit. Let's just take a little peek inside this Daedric Shrine. Just a little peek. We've got a person there that's instantly aggressive to me. Okay, you sort of look like you have full iron on or full steel. Let's see what your damage is like. Oh crap, that's that's rough. That's rough. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> maybe we don't do that and maybe we try to heal up before we die here. Uh health eight points. Yeah, health eight points. Oh dear, this clamp here might kill me. No, good. Uh, oh man. That was a close one. <laughs> Maybe we don't go into Daedric Shrines just yet. Just yet. They might be just out of my league. Oh, now it spawns a bunch of Flame Atronox. Okay. This is fine. This is absolutely fine. I am a Dunmer, so your fire spell shouldn't do too much to me. But you are all ganging up on me anyway, and it's still hurting. <clears throat> so as long as I use a potion and just kill some of you, if I can kill some of you, there we go. Spear skill up to 55. Oh, endurance up to 8. Well, well. Um, let's get out of here then. And try to find that bandit lair for the lady who was robbed. Well, lady, more like filthy high elf. Filthy Altmer who was robbed. Oh, you little bastard. Thankfully, it was all a bunch of low-level stuff. Nothing too serious attacking me. Right, so we came from there and the person who was robbed was sort of somewhere around here and they said east so yeah it looks like just a little a little trek north and we should come upon some type of mine or cave or something of the like possible that 
that I go over 10 endurance while I'm doing this, but that's not too much of an issue uh, because I have more than enough spear and medium armor lee leeway, better said, uh, to get up to endurance 100. So if I do go over 10 endurance for this level, it's really not that big of a deal. I seem to be heading very northeast. Hope I'm not getting too far from anything that might be considered. To... Ooh, is that a. Ah, and I happen to have a petty soul gem. There's a shulk up there. I have no magicka, though. That is unfortunate. Do I have any. Res Ooh, that's a. Yeah, that restore magicka potion. Ah. Uh is a waste of 50 magicka but at the same time you know now that i'm getting to see a lot of daedra with somewhat decent frequency i can probably start crafting my own uh, restore magic potions at some point so yeah i think maybe we just use that i know it is a waste of a whole bunch of magicka but I definitely want to be able to soul trap this thing. Just get a little bit of fatigue up. 73% chance. 75. Yeah, we'll just go for now. All right, good. And I have contracted collie wobbles. Damn it. Well, sadly, I cannot cure common disease on myself anymore. I have no way of curing this common disease. Um, but I can, I can remove its effects. The disease will still be on me, but I can restore my strength, for example. And my speed and endurance. There we go. So I can get rid of the effects. Is this a little path? No. I don't see a little path that veers off into a cave or mine though. Oh. So I don't know if I'm getting way too far away for the quest I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, see, I'm already way north of Caldera. Maybe, maybe I... Does it look like there's a path over there? No. Looks like this over here would be... A cave-ish type of thing of some sort, but I don't know if I can get up there. No. Hmm. Yes, I think I, I might have either overshot the location of where I'm supposed to go, or... Or maybe, even though the quest said it's to the east, maybe it was a bit to the northeast? I'm, I, I don't know. I really don't know. Keep looking, that's for sure. There's something up here. <clears throat> I, 
I'll, I, I'll restore fatigue when I'm done killing this thing. There we go. Yeah, that looks like there's a little path over there. That might be it. That might be where we need to go. Diseased Kagu- Ah, yes, you are aggressive. I was wondering why you weren't attacking me. Alright, medium armor up. Don't want to get too many points in that. I'm ready. It's 6 out of 10. I'm going to have to watch that medium armor leveling. Is this the ghost gate? Yes, I think we have found the ghost gate. Oh, this is what's keeping all the monsters in the mountain in the middle of Vardenfell. Yeah. Hello, ghost gate. What were these towers called? Tower of Dawn. And is it Tower of Dusk or <laughs> Yes it is, Tower of Dusk, okay. <laughs> Dawn and Dusk. But uh, yes, we have definitely strayed from our quest. Let's see if the bandit hideout is up this way. Seven out of ten. <laughs> Gonna have to really watch it. I don't want to completely mess up this level. I might actually have to uh, mark and elm CV to make sure I can get uh, points in alchemy before coming back and taking care of these bandits. Maybe their hideout is in the mountains? Or sort of on top of the mountains? We can explore. But I really think... How's my restoration looking? 43. That's not bad. That's not bad. Shouldn't be leveling restoration anytime soon. So I can rest of St. Morris all I want. Well, that's 10 points in endurance. That level of spear. Yep. Do ever have two points of speed? That would be a waste if I didn't level with speed. But I don't think like it's that big of a deal because there's plenty of stuff. I think uh, short blade is speed, hand to hand is speed that you can train with Caius Cosades and unarmored as well. So I have plenty of things I could potentially train to get my speed up. And I wouldn't mind a little bit of advancement in the mages game. <coughs> so I think I'll probably still go for alchemy. I just have to make sure I don't get many more points in uh, medium armor. Because I'm already at 7 out of 10 to level.
Oh, a bull net over there. Is that a is that an ancestral tomb or a cave? That's something that's more or less east of Caldera. I'll explore a little bit more this way first, though. That does look like it might be it. I don't know why I never saw this path before. Thing down there. Oh, that's a mine right there. That looks like a mine or a cave. That might be a bandit hideout. And that is a little bit more directly east of Caldera, not quite so east and northeast. That could be it. Yeah, that might be it. That is... That's east of Caldera, yeah. I think I'm gonna take my chances and go to this place. Let's see if this is where the bandits are hiding out. But again, I think... Yeah, 10 points in Endurance. I think I'm going to mark um, CV and Recall. I think that would be wise. So let's go ahead and... Oh, can't rest when enemies are nearby. What, this bull netch? Is that technically an enemy? Hmm. Well, marking is 18 Magicka. And I think I can get that up to like 73% chance. Let's get my fatigue up a little bit. Might as well quaff a potion, not like... Not like I'm low on fatigue potions. So mark is 77% chance. And I can mark, but that... I was gonna see, but that takes all my ma okay, so yeah, there goes our last Magicka potion, because unfortunately I cannot rest here, so let's mark again. There we go, now we're marked. And we will um CV away from all these dangers keeping us in combat. And we'll come back here in a bit. Thankfully, we made it to Balmora, and not to some crazy place like I, don't know. I would I would say Aldruin is a bit closer to Caldera, but thankfully we made it here and not to Aldruin, so that's good. But again, two speed points. Hmm. Oh, this is tough because the only ma or actual um, leveling up skill that I have in speed is athletics. And I have that at 30, so it would probably pre be pretty expensive if I were to purchase three points in athletics. I don't even know who an athletics trainer is here in Belmore. We can probably check with one of the Blades trainers. They'll probably probably be able to find an athletics trainer with one of them but I think I'd like to take advantage of those already two points of speed and actually get speed up to 60 that wouldn't be bad so our mages guild um, advancement would have to wait but I think it's worth it I think it's worth it speed is always you know it speeds everything up a little bit you run it slightly faster not necessarily noticeable but you do run faster so Traveling and just doing things generally takes a less amount of time. So yeah, let's go. 
That's already two points, and I'll be purchasing three in athletics, so I need five from Kaios Cosades in...